हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू सेंट जोसेफ एकेडमी गाजियाबाद यूट्यूब चैनल हियर आई एम आउद मेशा गोइंग टू टीच यू मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास एट्थ वेलकम टू द टॉपिक सेट्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस द थ्री टॉपिक ऑफ द सेट्स इज फाइनेंस सेट इन फाइनेंस सेट एंड द एम टी सेट टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द रेस्ट ऑफ द सेट सिंगल टर्न कार्ड नंबर ऑफ ए फाइनेंस सेट यूनिवर्सल सेट्स इक्वेलन सेट्स subset and supersets proper sets and equal sets so let's recall the three sets which we have discussed in the last video finite set infinite sets and empty sets what are your finite sets the number of element of a set is finite is your called finite set or the a set that have a fixed number of element is your called finite set for example suppose A is a set of even number less than ten. So, what are all the even numbers? Two, four, six, and eight. So, here I am limiting the number less than ten. Your even number less than ten is two, four, six, eight. We are having a fixed number of element. In the same case of second one, infinite set. Suppose B is a set of even numbers. Two. Four, six, and so on. B is a set of even numbers. So, which means a set that does not have a fixed number of element is your called infinite set. Next one is your empty sets. What are the empty sets? The set which contain no element is your called empty set. The set which contain no element. Suppose if I say A month, a month having a days less than twenty eight. So there is no month less than twenty eight. So is this set is your empty set, or we are donating this set only by curly braces or null set by this symbol. The next example of the empty set is suppose if I say the set of even prime number that are greater than two. The set of Even prime number greater than two, so we know already that even prime number is two, and the set of even number greater than two is, so there is no element. So this one is your empty set. Now come to the fourth one, single turn. What is a single turn? A set that contain only one element is called single turn. Example, here I have taken the example. Suppose one set is having a zero element. Next element is having a twenty-five elements, or if you are taking a character A, so these all sets are your singleton sets. More example I have taken even prime number. Even prime number we know very well two. So this set is our is single set, singleton set. Next, what are the cardinal number? Suppose if I have taken example A equals to Natural number one, two, three, and up to four. So, what are your cardinal number? The cardinal number of a finite set A. Here, I have taken the set A. Finite set I have taken one, two, three, four till the four. So, cardinal number of a finite set A is the number of distinct element in the set A. The number of the distinct element. So, how many number of elements are there? One, two, three, and four. Four. So, cardinal number of Set A is four. Further, you can see in the examples also I have given there. Example A month of year. So we know how many months in a year is twelve. So cardinal number of set A is twelve. Next example A is a set of x y z and B is a set of p q r s. So cardinal number of A is x y Z, so one two three. Cardinal number of A is three. Cardinal number of B is one two three four. So cardinal number of B is four. What are your universal sets? The sets of all the possible objects under consideration for a particular discussions is called universal set, and it is denoted by capital U. 
हियर हैव टेकन द एग्जाम्पल सपोज सेट ए इज ए स्टूडेंट ऑफ ए क्लास सिक्स ए सेट बी इज ए स्टूडेंट ऑफ ए क्लास सिक्स बी एंड सेट सी इज ए स्टूडेंट ऑफ द क्लास सिक्स सी सो दिस आर ऑफ द सेट्स ए बी एंड सी वाट आर योर यूनिवर्सल सेट दैट ऑल द स्टूडेंट ऑफ द क्लास सिक्स इज योर यूनिवर्सल सेट बाई ए पिक्टोरियल डायग्राम यू कैन इजली अंडरस्टैंड सपोज this is the set, uh, set a this one is set b and this one is set your c okay here is your sixth a student here is your sixth b student and here is your sixth c student so what is your universal set that all the student of class sixth is your universal set next what is equivalent set two finite sets are called your equivalent set if they contain the same number of element two finite set or for the equivalent set there is compulsory of the finite set two finite set are called equivalent if they are having a same number of element like in the example we have seen a is having a 2 5 8 and 12 so the number of element is here 4 likewise in b the set of b is 4 6 9 and 11 so the number of element in b is also 4 so this one is equivalent we can represent by like this also a is equivalent to b or a is equivalent to b what are your subsets if a and b are two sets such that every element of a is an element of b we say that a is a subset of b we express this symbol is a is a subset of b like this we have to uh, denote it by a is a subset of b example i have uh, taken here suppose a is a set of 4 and 5 and b is a set of 3 4 and 5 so it means a is a subset of b because the element in a is 4 and 5 is coming in the element of in b 4 and 5 let uh, see that 4 belongs to a 4 belongs to a in the same way 4 belongs to b also 5 belongs to b 5 belongs to b so the a is a subset of b whereas 3 belongs to b but 3 not belongs to a which means every element of b is not a an element of a hence b is a not a subset of a but a is a subset of b again i am explaining here suppose we are having a two set a and b a is having a element 4 and 5 b is an uh, having a sets of 3 4 and 5 so 4 belongs to a and in the set b 4 belongs to b also 5 belongs to a 5 belongs to b also this proves that a is a subset of b but 3 belongs to b 3 belongs to b but 3 is not belongs to a which means that b is not a subset of a b is not a subset of a but a is a subset of b Uh, how we will uh, find all the subset of a if you you have to ask the question that find all the subset of a and suppose you are having a subset a is uh, 0 and 1 so how would you found formula is there by using formula 2 to the power cardinal number of set a so how many cardinal number of set a is there 2 which means 2 to the power 2 2 to the 4 so the number of subset is 
in the next example you can see set set of a is 1 2 3 9 which means cardinal number of a is 4 so by using the formula 2 to the power 4 which means 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 so the here it will be the subset is, is 16 how you have to write one set is your null set next one is your 1 2 3 9 1 2 1 3 1 9 2 3 2 9 3 9 1 2 3 1 2 9 1 3 9 2 3 9 1 2 3 9 and here you can also count that the 16 subsets are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 here the elements are more so we can take the first one example so that you can easily understand a equals to 0 and 1 so cardinal number of this set is 2 which means how many subsets are there 4 1 is your null set next one is your 0 0 next one is 1 and last one is your 0 and 1 got it now come to the next topic proper subset proper subset is a little bit different from the subset the set a and b are such that every element of a is in the element of b but b has at least one element which is not in the an element of a for example you can see a is the set of 1 2 3 but b is the set of 1 2 and 3 and 4 4 is not in 4 is the element of b but not in the a how you have to find out the proper subset we are applying the same formula which we are applying in the subset 2 to the power cardinal number of set a but minus 1 see the example a is the set of 1 and 2 which means one set is your one proper subset is your null set next one is your 1 and the last one is your 2 we are not taking the whole set 1 and 2 the slightly difference there in the subset we are taking the 1 and 2 also there but by if you are using the formula suppose the cardinal number of a set is 2 to the power 2 which means 4 but the formula is 2 to the power 2 minus 1 which means 4 minus 1 you will get 3 so the proper subset is your 3 1 2 and 3 what is your superset let a be the subset of b uh, wait uh, suppose if you are having a set of a is 4 6 and 8 and here is set of b is 2 4 6 8 and 10 so the element the number of element in b is more than the number of element a so b is the super subset of a or we can say is a is the subset of b what are your equal set if you remember what is our your equivalent set in the equivalent set that number of elements are equal in both the set the number of element only the number of elements are equal in both the set we say uh, we call them equivalent set but in the equal set equal set are the equivalent set but equivalents are need not be a equal set means uh, that all the elements in the set in the both sets are equal see the set of a is 2 6 8 and the set of b is 6 8 and 4 so this means a equals to b now come to the next here a is the set of 2 6 and 8 and b is the set of 6 8 and 2 is there not 4 here 2 is there now come to this next operation and venn diagram 
now we are going to discuss the new topic operations and venn diagrams first topic is your union of two sets intersection of two sets disjoint sets overlapping sets difference of two sets and complement of sets what are your union of sets the union of two sets a and b is the set of all the elements that belong either to a or to b it is denoted by union a union b it is denoted by union sign this one is your union sign u suppose we are having it two sets a and b a is a set of 2 4 9 and b is a set of 2 5 9 Ten. So, what is the union between them in the set A and B? All the elements in set A and the set B. Two. Two came in both the sets, so we will write one time only two, four, four, then five, then nine, then ten. Okay. Here I have written also. A union B is your two four five nine and ten. Next example also I have taken. If P is a set of A B C and Q is a set of X Y, so what is P union Q? A B C X and Y. A B C and X and Y. So union of two set is the union of two set A and B is the set of all the elements. that belongs to either a or b or in a both next one is intersections of two sets the intersection of two sets a and b is the sets of all elements which belongs to both a and b and it is denoted by inverted u it is denoted by intersection b a intersection b see the examples a is the set of Two, four, six, five, and B is the set of one, two, three, four, seven, nine. So, uh, in the simple words, the common between them you have to take the intersection of two sets, which means the common between the two sets. So, common elements are there two and four. So, you can write A intersection B two and four. If Q and P do not have any element in common. Then P in, uh, Q intersection P is null set. Suppose if I will take P equals to A B C and Q equals to X and Y. So in both the set, nothing is common. So this means Q intersection P is your null sets. So in the simple way, just remember. Q intersection P or A intersection B. If you have to find out, you have to take the just common between the two sets. Next, what is your overlapping sets? Two sets A and B are called overlapping sets if they have at least one element in common. If they are having a one element in common, suppose A is a set of one, two, and three, and B is a set of three. Four and five. So common is here three and three. So we can represent one, two, three, four and five. This represent the set B. This represent the set A. And the common is your overlapping set is here here three, which means the intersection. The intersection between A and B is your three. At least one element is your called overlapping sets. Next one is your difference of sets. The difference of A and B is the sets of element which belongs to A but not to B. Suppose A is a sets of one, two, three, four, and B is a sets of two, four, and six. So we have to take the uh, elements of A, 
but not b after uh, reducing like b is ha having an element 2 so you will cut here in element 2 in the set a 4 to 4 remaining one is your only 1 and 3 next example i will take easy one suppose a is a set of a b and c and b is a set of c d and e and you have to find out difference of a minus b a difference b so which means c will cancel out by c so you have to write only the element of a which means a and b if in the question it is asking if in the question it is asking that write down the difference of b minus a b difference a which means c is cancelled out c now you have to write the element of b d and e next complement of sets the complement of set a is the set of those element of universal set which are not the element of a example uh, comp we are representing complement by this like this complement of a suppose universal set is there 1 2 3 4 5 6 and a set is there 1 3 and 5 and you have to find out the complement of set a so formula is complement of set a is equal to universal set minus set of a so if you do minus here 1 will cancel out by 1 3 will cancel out by 3 5 will cancel out by 5 so remaining set in the universal set is your 2 4 and 6 next here i have taken the one question so that easily you can understand all the explanation of uh, operations and venn diagrams let u is the x belongs to your natural numbers where condition is 2 is less than or equal to x and x is less than or equal to 9 so your universal set will be your universal set will be x belongs to your natural number but the condition is 2 is 2 is less than 2 is less than or equal to x and x is less than or equal to 9 so we have to start from 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 okay now write down the set of a a is a set of even number so our universal set is up to 9 only so what is your even number up to 9 2 4 6 and 8 set of b multiple of 3 but our uh, uh, universal set is still 9 okay so multiple of 3 is 3 6 and 9 the set of c multiple of 4 up to 9 multiple of 4 4 and 8 first part we have to solve <coughs> complement of a union b equals to the complement of sets a intersection complement of sets b so here i have solved this uh, first part here see how we have to find out of the complement of a union b first we have to find out the uh, a union b the set a is here 2 4 6 8 and the set b is 3 6 9 so the a union b will be your 2 3 4 6 8 2 3 4 6 8 and 9 how to find out the complement complement of 
a union b is equal to universal set minus a union b which you will get the universal set is your 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and a union b you have find 2 3 4 6 8 and 9 so what is your u difference a union b 2 will cancel out by 2 3 will cancel out by 3 4 4 6 6 8 8 and 9 and 9 remaining is 5 and 7 so complement of a union b is your 5 and 7 now solve the rhs complement of a is you will get 3 5 7 9 and the complement b you will get 2 4 5 7 8 and the intersection between them is 5 7 5 7 the common between the two sets 5 7 which means lhs equals to rhs rest of the three parts also you can do like this only find out the first a intersection uh, a intersection b then take out their complements same way find out the complement of a and complement of b and union between them in the same way you have you have to do c question now come to the next topic venn diagram a venn diagram is a closed geometrical geometrical presentation used to donate a set or a combination of a set within a given universal sets in a simple word just you remember to representing a set we are using a venn diagram first one is presentation of venn diagram suppose here i have taken up an example this circle is representing the set a this circle is representing set a and this whole blue portion is representing your universal set okay the set a is set a is a b c d and e and the set uh, and the universal set is a b uh, i have to clear out this screen first what is your universal set all the set in set a and the universal set which means universal set is your one two three a b c d and e also next what is the subset of a how you will represent the subset in venn diagram so a is a subset subset uh, this sign is not completed subset of b the set a is represented by a circle within the circle representing the set b a is if you remember what are subset suppose a is a set of two elements four and five and b is a set of three four and five so here a is a subset of b so inside circle we are representing a set a outside circle we are representing the set b and this one is your universal set so set a is your four and five and set b is your three four and five so set a is your four and five and set b is your three four and five a is representing by the circle within the circle representing the set b next how you will represent the union of a set a union b suppose see the first one first venn diagram this circle is representing the set a and this circle is representing the set b and the whole is your universal set suppose set a is your one and two and uh, set uh, b is your set b is two and three so how you will represent the venn diagram you if you see that uh, 
टू एलिमेंट इज कॉमन इन बोथ द सेट सेट ए एंड सेट बी सो वन टू इज कमिंग इन बोथ द बोथ द सर्कल सो दिस वन विल बी ओवरलैपिंग बिटवीन टू सर्कल्स टू एंड द सेट बी इज योर थ्री सो ही यू कैन सी सेट ए इज वन एंड टू सेट ए इज वन एंड टू सेट बी इज योर टू एंड थ्री सेट बी इज योर टू एंड थ्री इफ बिट इफ यू हैव टू राइट द ए यूनियन बी सपोज दिस वन इज योर सेट ए एंड दिस वन इज योर सेट बी so if you are not having a same element in both the sets suppose this set is 1 and 2 and this set is your 3 and 4 so how you will write a union b you will represent 1 2 3 and 4 this set is uh, this venn diagram is your call your disjoint sets and this one is your call overlapping sets and the last one is your i have shown in the first one subset Last one is your subset. A is a subset of B. Intersection of its sets. Suppose if here I am taking the same example. A is a set of two numbers. One, two. B is a set of two numbers. Two and three. So set A is one and two, and set B is two and three. If you say that the common, uh, what I told you in the last one, intersection common between them. So the common is here, two is here. So we will write two here and three here, overlapping sets. This one is your overlapping set. Two comes in both the sets, in the set A also, in the set B also. This one is your call your overlapping sets. so next one is your disjoint set suppose this one is your set a this one is your set b so intersection between this uh, set is null set 1 and 2 suppose set a is your 1 and 2 and set b is your 3 uh, and 3 and 4 so a in the section b will be your null set and the last a is a subset of b so here you can also easily find out next one is your difference of two set the shaded portion of the following venn diagram represented the difference of a a minus b this one is your overlapping sets this one is your disjoint sets and this one is your subsets uh, let me show you suppose if i am taking the example a minus b a is your set of 1 2 3 3 4 is a set of 3 4 5 5 is a set of 3 4 5 first circle is representing the set a Last circle is representing set B. In the first set, if you are writing one, two, two, and you are seeing that three is common between the both the set. So three will come between overlapping between the two circles. Three here, four, and five. So what is the difference of A minus B? Only the shaded portion. Only the shaded portion Venn diagram one and two. likewise in the disjoints diagram you can see second part disjoint set suppose 1 and 2 is the set a and 2 and uh, and set b is your 3 and 4 so what is a minus b null set likewise in the same way in this 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 suppose uh, your set is a is 1 and 2 and set b is 3 and 4 so what is a minus b here here also your null set next one is your complement of a sets complement of set a suppose this one is representing set a 
capital A. Set A is ABC and your universal set is 1 and 2 is here. So what is your complement here? If you know the if you remember the formula complement of set A is your universal set minus set of A. So remaining part which we are showing which the blue part is showing in the figure is your set complement of set A which means 1 and 2. Here is the question I have given solve these questions likewise same way what we have what I have explained in the this in each each topic you have to do like this only. Thank you.